What's going on? So, hello and yes, welcome back to another video, guys. It's a different one. It's very strange. What is going on? Um, what is going on is I'm redoing my room a bit. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to shoot video, take you guys on the journey. We'll go for it bit by bit as it's happening. Um, now, at the minute, this is day one. Been to Ikea this morning, picked up some new shelves. As you can see, I really should have started filming before I took all bits off because you've missed some bits, unfortunately. My bad. Um, but we've already taken all the posters off my wall. I mean, look at this. It's just a blue wall. Never seen that before in my room. A plain wall. There's always posters of it. And as you can see, all the posters around the back are gone. Those of you who have watched my videos and know I had a load of posters up in the background above here. They're probably actually going to stay off because I want to... I want to have some walls showing on my room, and I'll just cover it up with posters. The idea is, is to get a lot more shelving going on for records, because I still buy a lot of records. Films, I don't really buy many films. I've actually taken a load of films away. Um, I know it doesn't look it, but literally, I mean, these boxes down here were elsewhere, but there's actually like two free shelves for Blu-rays, which would full up. So I've taken two shelves of Blu-rays off. It's going to be another load of Blu-rays going as well. Just going to get rid of them, because I don't need them. I don't watch at least a quarter of these films on on this shelf. I don't even like about a quarter of the films on this shelf, <laughs> to be honest. Um, you know, I bought them, watched them, didn't like them, so now what am I going to do? Leave them there to gather dust? No, I'll get rid of them. Um, so as I said, there's a load of films going. i got a load of records um, on the floor here. I've got a load of records over here. I've got a load of records under my bed. So... It's going to be pretty cool. The idea is, is I'm getting a new cupboard because this cupboard looks so out of place and it's falling apart. Look at that. It's good, isn't it? So yeah, we're going to take this apart. Um, we're going to go, there's a new one coming in on Tuesday. It's Saturday today. So we've got a new one coming in in a couple of days from Argos. Yeah, I know. I'm not normally the biggest fan of Argos, but they had this really nice cupboard. So the only problem is the cupboard is too big for the gap. So what we got to do is we're going to take this shelving unit here, basically cut it in half, move everything up so the cupboard can fit in. Um, well, we're not cutting it in half. We're actually taking about a third off this this shelving unit here. So we're going to have about a third taken off. As I say, so I've got no option but to get rid of some Blu-rays. Um, now, then, here in the UK, we have a great shop called IKEA. Went there for the first time this morning, and it is a brilliant shop. Um, but as you know, they have these cubes for records, which is fantastic. It's like cubes. Um, and they're made specifically for records, I believe. So what I've done is I went and got a 4x4 four four and a 1x2. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're gonna push, push, sorry about the bed, it's not made. It's all a bit of a mess in here at the minute. So if I move all my pillows out of the way. So what we're going to do is, I'll apologise about the fan as well, it's so hot in the UK at the minute. And um, we're going to push the bed forward because there's enough room for it to go forward. And we're going to put a little 1x2 up here. So we're going to have two slots here, one and two for records. We're going to put a big unit behind it uh, to support the 4x4, which is just going to go here. So we're going to have shelving units behind my bed here, um, which is great. And as I say, I don't want to clutter the room up too much. I don't want to overcrowd it, which is why a lot of the Blu-rays are going... And I'm not going to put anything back up here. I don't think I'm going to put any posters back. I'm, I might put my canvas posters up. I've got um, a Game of Thrones one. And a, even my Pink Floyd or Sgt. Pepper one to go up for my music. So, but other than that, that's it. I'm going to get rid of a load of these. Uh, well, when I say a load, it's not actually going to be loads. I'm going to get rid of a few Blu-rays. As I say, some have already gone. I've already got rid of about 70 Blu-rays. It's going to be another load going soon um, and yeah it's going to be pretty exciting so anyway I thought I'd bring you guys on the journey because all of, at the minute you know my videos if I film any videos over the next couple of weeks which I'm bound to film one they are going to look a bit different because there's going to be some empty walls in the background and eventually when the room is done it is going to look very different so I thought it'd be cool to bring you guys on the journey also going to give it a bit of paint going to go around it with some paint that is the next task no the next task actually is getting rid of the cupboard so that's, that's going to go. And we're going to give it a good paint round. And we're going to put some emulsion down. 
Um, I'm thinking, I'm debating whether to get a new blind as well. You know, make that look a bit nice as well, a bit spiffy. Um, but yeah, at the minute, it's it's quite cool. All the posters have gone up in the loft, or if you're in America, the attic. Um, other little bits have gone up in the loft as well. Um, and yeah, all my box sets are kind of sitting on the floor at the minute, which I don't really like. Um, but I can't put them around the side of the room because there's a risk of paint getting on them, and we really don't want that. So anyway, I've got like... I'm just sitting on the floor here, some of the, um, I think I've got my Joe Bonamassa records, David Bowie, and some Beatles, and in my box sets as well here, we've got George Harrison, that's not a box set, that's sad, that's some filler, um, and then we've got some John Lennon, Paul McCartney boxes over there, so yeah, but anyway, um, it'll be nice though, because when I get these cubes up, the boxes can go in them, and because these cubes are not going to fill up straight away, obviously, um, you know, like each box set can have like a cube to itself or something until they get filled up so it's going to look really nice I think when it's done so I'm really excited about this guys and I thought it would be very cool to bring you guys on the journey with us so anyway look at this I've rambled on for five minutes telling you what's going to happen but now you guys can see what's going to happen here we go this is the next stage coming up so then here we are we're back day two very exciting as you can tell the bed is still not made up I apologize guys um, but anyway, we got quite a bit done yesterday. Um, let me see. We filled in all the bits where the posters were, which is pretty cool. Um, the room is completely empty. All the box sets down here have gone. I'll show you where they are in a minute. Um, and yeah, we built one of the cubes. The cube that is going to go just down here beside the two. We've built that one just down here. So as you can see, it's pretty nice. Um, I'm thinking about putting a back on it. Still thinking about it. I'll put this together this morning. It only took about half hour. Very easy to put together. So if you're in the UK and you're thinking about getting these, um, I'd highly recommend them because they're easy to put together and they look very nice. They do look very good. So, um, yeah, so that's good. Other than that, today, that's about it. It is Father's Day today. So uh, this obviously isn't going to be uploaded on Father's Day. It's going to be uploaded probably a week or two later. Um, but happy Father's Day to everyone. All the dads out there. Happy Father's Day to my dad. Um, but yeah, so we're not going to do any work today, really. We just, me and my dad just quickly filled in the holes. You know, I thought it could be really mean to make him work, but I won't. I won't. That's, that's mean. It's Father's Day, after all. So yeah, we're not going to do any work today. Um, which is quite nice. And then tomorrow... I'm working, doing actual work. Um, so my dad is going to go around here with a bit of paint, paint it all up, paint the ceiling. Um, and then Tuesday, Tuesday, following day, um, the cupboard's coming, so we're going to put the cupboard together. Now be good because I'm going to get my clothes back in here. But yeah, let me show you guys where all my stuff is. I have to go outside, outside the room. I mean, I've got this stand here, all my games in. And my Game of Thrones models. Yeah, I'll quickly show you actually this as well. Um, I had some records in this cube, but I'm not going to keep records in here now because I'm going to have so many cubes over here behind me. I'm going to put the records that were in this cube over there. Um, I've got like a little gaming cube now. So I've got like um, my PS4 down the bottom, my Xbox 360, and my PS2 there. And then this has always been here. This hasn't moved, but my PS3 is just, just here. So it's quite cool because the annoying thing was I had to take my PS2 out every time I play it. I still play it occasionally, uh, but of course the disc drive actually opens up from the top. She opens up like that. I'm not. I got controllers on it in a minute, so it opens up from the top. So I had to like pull it out every time I wanted to put a new disc in it. So that's nice. That's much better. That's so easy. My George Harrison boxes are here at the minute. Here's all the Blu-rays which I've got rid of. There's a lot. Um, yeah, Game of Thrones, if you're wondering, I haven't actually got rid of Game of Thrones. That's my Season 1 through 3 box, which was what I got originally. I have them all individually, just at the top over there. So, there really hasn't been any Game of Thrones taken out. And yeah, as you can see here, this is where all this stuff, stuff has gone. It's a bit hard to do it backwards, but yeah, we've got some records, books, books, records, box sets, box set. More records and drawers and album ranking board there rolled up. So yeah, that's where everything's gone at the minute. So um, yeah, it's been quite interesting. I've ordered a new lampshade. 
I love this, but I've had it for so long as my Death Star lampshade. I think I've outgrown it a bit. So yeah, I've got a new lampshade, which is nice. Um, I've got to order some new blinds. You guys remember my old wooden ones? Uh, but they've broken, so... Some new blinds are needed. Um, and I'm thinking about getting a clock. I do have my little... I love this guy. I'm not getting rid of him. This is my little alarm clock for work. So, I'll put him over there on the shelving. Um, so that when I wake up in the morning, I can just... Bob his head. Um, but I'm thinking about getting a clock. Maybe something smart to go up there. I'm thinking about that one. But anyway, that's where we're at in the minute for the room. And I won't see any more. You guys won't see any more till I get home from work tomorrow. Because no more's going to get done today. And as I said, I'm at work tomorrow. So I won't see much get done till I'm home. But anyway, that is it. I, I'm, I might take out some more Blu-rays today. That's what I might do. Because I can do that on my own. And, yeah, I want to take a few more Blu-rays out. Um, the, as I say, the shelves look really full at the minute, the Blu-ray shelves down here, because there's box sets and other bits and bobs. But a lot of that will go over there. So this shelf won't look quite as full as it does, especially when it's all moved up as well. So yeah, but anyway, that, that, it's looking good, I've got to say. I'm pretty excited about this. So anyway, um, until tomorrow. Well, guys, I don't know what day this is now. This is um, this is day three, I think. Day three. I think now it is so hot outside. We're just getting out to my room now. Um, cold Pepsi. You guys know me. I like my Pepsi. So hot oh, one is much needed on a day like today. Then that's when my little Star Wars set up behind. My sister loves that. Um, so yeah, coming into my room, I've been at work today, so I haven't done none of this. So this is all props to my dad, my father. Look at this. Look at how nice and blue these walls are. It looks incredible. It's actually a darker, darker shade of blue than we had before. I mean, my dad obviously couldn't get behind the shelves. You can see there how light that blue is up here how much darker it is it's really nice the ceiling's been painted the skirting's been painted and what's really nice is it all only needed one coat and there wasn't it doesn't need another coat which is really nice so that's very very neat very very cool um i got my new extension lead lead to go here it's only a short one i'm gonna eat them i'm gonna eat the label um because the ex my, my plug socket's by my bed. But the bed's made today. The, I've made the bed. Fantastic. And um, the plug sockets are going to get covered up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have this extension lead there. I'm going to drill a couple of holes in the wall. Like right here. It's just going to sit there next to me. So I, I can still access some plugs next to my bed. Uh, because I'll have my lamp over here. Hopefully in one of the cubes. Hopefully it'll fit in one of the cubes. Um, I don't know where my lamp is. That's a good... Here's my lamp. Will it fit in a cube? It won't fit in a queue. I'll have to, it'll probably just sit on the windowsill then. Um, and you know, I'll sit there with my iPad at night or in the mornings like I do. And if it needs charging, I can sit there with it charging. So, um, yeah, I've got my extension lead there. So that's nice. Um, this two cube is ready to go. Tomorrow is going to be an exciting day. There's not much to tell you guys today other than show you the new walls and how nice they look. Uh, tomorrow's going to be exciting because my dad's going to build the unit that's going to go by next to the two cube. And then when I get home from work, I'm going to build the 4x4 cube. And we're just going to whack them up on top. I can start bringing all my records and stuff from the hallway back in. I can lay everything out how I want. The cupboard, the wardrobe, is coming tomorrow. But we won't be building that tomorrow. Um, depending on how complicated it is, it might get built when me and my dad get home from work. Either Wednesday through Friday. <coughs> If not, it'll be the weekend it gets built. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyway, this is the room for today. Pretty cool. Well, I'm, I'm over the moon with this blue wall. It's a bit darker. It's nice. There's no bullet holes left in the wall as well, you'll notice, from posters. I mean, look at that. It's just so plain up there, which is really nice because I'm used to it being filled up with posters. Um, but yeah, taking the posters down. I don't think they're going to go back up, to be honest, at the minute. I'm... I'm not sure what I'm going to put up there, if anything at all, because I'm just loving the, just loving the wall. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, I think this is day three. Um, we're going to move on to day four now, or day five if I'm wrong. I'll find out in the editing. So 
So then I forget what day this is now, day four, day five. I don't know. But we got we've got cubes. We've got them. Look at this. So my dad's built this while I've been at work today. Um that's it four by four cubes. So then we've put everything back now so it all looks nice so I can show you guys. But I'll show you as close up as what we've actually done here as I can. So down here you can see there's cube two. One, two. So I've got some little extra space there down the side. Um, me and my dad built this unit here ourselves, which this is sitting on top of, and it's completely empty in there. Uh, but what we've done is we built a frame with. Um, can't think of the bloody word. Built frame with a lot of support. Support, that's the word. Support. Um, yeah, it's still hot here by the way, in case you can't tell, I'm not sweating because I've actually just put this together. I put this together, or me and my dad put all this up about an hour ago. Um, I'm sweating because of the bloody weather still. Um, yes, yeah, so we built this frame just down here, you can't see it, it's all behind the bed, it's completely empty. You can actually just see one of the wooden legs in the far corner. Um, and yeah, what i done is, I brought home some vinyl from work, so apologies to my boss or colleague if you ever find this video. Um, I only bought home one small strip though of off cut, so it wasn't going to get used, it was only going to get chucked in the bin. So it was just one small bit of black roll, which I stuck to the top here. It's a bit shiny, you know, that's the thing with this vinyl that I use at work, it's a bit shiny. You just see my finger reflection there in it. So I just put that along the top, so you're not looking at, um, you know, you're not looking at my old wooden balls, it was actually my old wooden door, um, which is on the top there. Um, so it's black, it matches. And then also I nailed a couple of these wooden bits in, which, again, are off-cuts, bits which I've left off, which are behind my Blu-ray shelves. A bit of thin black wood at the back there. So it all looks nice. My bed's just pushed up against it. I'm debating whether to fill it up with some records at the minute, because I've got loads sitting in my hallway. Um, it's half six, and I'm bloody knackered from work, and the weather's killing me, so... I'm going to think about it. Anyway, um, I might do that tomorrow. But anyway, for the minute, that's what we've done today. And it looks amazing. So then, it's actually been a couple days since my last little vlog thingy that I filmed. Um, and not much has happened. Um, what is this? Day five now, I believe. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I've filled it up now. It looks really nice. So um, I've actually organised my records in a cool way. But before we get there, I'm going to show you guys this. My blinds have arrived, which is cool. We're going to be putting them up tomorrow. And also, my new lamp has arrived. Or lamp, lamp, or light shade. Which is very nice. It looks very, very cool. It actually wasn't built for this model lights. Me and my dad had to make, if I can get the camera under it, this metal circle bit, which you can see just in the middle there. So I've got to make sure not to touch that um, after the light's been on or else I might burn through my skin. Ouch. Um, but yeah, what I've done with my records is it's pretty cool. It's like, I wanted to keep records over here filled up because I look at this wall when I, you know, watch TV, when I'm sleeping, when I'm on my PlayStation. And I didn't want these boxes to be the empty ones. So I actually started here with A. I've got my records in alphabetical order. So we've got like B, lots of Beatles up there. Joe Bonamassa, David Bowie. Blondie, then we go to C, where we've got Johnny Cash, Eric Clapton, Jojo Kale, D for Dylan, um, and then E for ELO, and then basically up here, we start with F, and the first one up is Father John Misty, and then we go straight into uh, Fleetwood Mac. Um, so yeah, I started here, I've worked all the way across, all the way across, uh, finishing just here. But then we got my soundtracks, and I'm thinking of putting my soundtracks down here in these two empty cubes. I've put my Game of Thrones models in there. They're just these cool collectibles that I got. Um, they're in here for the minute, but I might, I might move them out. I'm debating whether or not to put them away or not because I love them. But I'm trying to keep my room looking neat and more mature. Um, but across the top, I've got box sets. I've got my Beatles. Books, sorry, books first. 
I've just got back from work, guys. I can't lie, you know, I done most of this yesterday. <laughs> I'm so pretty knackered. I was up at bloody four o'clock this morning. Um, so we got books up there. We mostly Beatles, but there's um, Eric Clarence and Bob Dylan and a Led Zeppelin one and a Fleetwood Mac one. There's a little Fleetwood Mac magazine up there. Um, then we got my movie books. So mostly Star Wars, but then there is a Prometheus book, a Rogue One book, a Marvel book, and a Star Trek book. And then right in the end there you can see my Pink Floyd Discovery box. And then we go into all box sets there, which are all pretty much Beatles boxes, solo Beatles. Um, and then I brought down two pop vinyls. I've got my, my Darth Vader pop vinyl and my Batman pop vinyl. So that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, and then down, down here... Um, where my pyjamas are my chair we'll get that out of the way um, you can see my boxes so yeah I've kind of got like album boxes and just thin box sets up here the really cool boxes are here uh, and then the humongous boxes are on the bottom and I put my George Harrison one facing forward because it has a super sweet cover I love that box that box is awesome um, so yeah, and then uh, and I've just filled these holes up down here with my Blu-ray box sets. I need to figure out something to go in there because I can see a wall and I can see wires and it doesn't look nice. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's going to go in that hole. Because um, I'm not sure yet. I'm debating whether to keep my Blu-ray boxes down there in a minute. And then of course, tomorrow we'll be building the cupboard hopefully. And putting the blinds up. That's tomorrow's plans, so fingers crossed. But that's it for today. It's still looking good. What are you guys doing in there now? First the fridge, now in here. So, it's actually been about two weeks. Look at this spot. Um, it's been about two weeks actually now since I um, filmed the last video for my room because my parents have been away. I've had so much work on at work. I've had like no time to actually do anything to the room. Um, but we have now finished. We have finished. This is the grand finale, guys. Um, there are no posters up yet because I still need to decide on that. But shelves, you'll notice there's a couple boxes empty here. Well, they've just got chargers and my drink and some books I'm reading at the minute in there. Um... But they're actually empty, really. I put the soundtracks down here, which is really cool. I can't remember what I showed you guys last time, so I might accidentally repeat myself here. Um, new lampshade, a bit better than the Death Star, a bit more age appropriate. Um, I think I showed you guys the cupboard. Um, so anyway, it's quite nice. This door here opens up like so, and I installed a little mirror here. Uh, Double-sided sticky tape. It is the best shit you can buy when it comes to little framings like this. I use it at work all the time. So I bought some home, put this on. Bought myself a little comb, a little special one. Um, yeah, I had no idea what to put up here. So I put my Game of Thrones models up here. Um, come down here. In case you want to rob me, guys. There's my safe, but there ain't much in there. So won't be breaking in for the money, I'm sure, anyway. Um, and then here we have the aftershave. Which I get every Christmas from every family member. If you're wondering why I have so much, got my t-shirts down here. Um, got my little drawers down here. Um, underwear. Um, I. Oh, CDs got stuck. Um, yeah, and this one here. You yeah, have a stupid Paul McCartney one has got stuck. Ah, this thing. This thing here got stuck. <clears throat> Um, yeah, so I've just put like spare CDs in here. I really have no idea what to put in there, to be honest. Then in the bottom, I've got like spare Xbox, PlayStation controllers, all that kind of stuff. And then in here, um, all my YouTube stuff. I've got both my tripods, all my old notes are in this, this little Beatles bag. Got the album ranking board there. In here, I got my sleeves in those cardboard things down there. I got a little tub there. Don't know what to put in the tub yet. And then just trousers, shorts, long sleeve shirts, um, my suit, and my very, very, very expensive leather jacket that my granddad gave me. So 
There's a lot in here. So there's that, and then I think literally this is the door has been painted. The door has been painted. Um, the window seal has been painted, and last but not least, ugh, we got new blinds. Look at that. You can't see anything, can you? It's a Makes the lighting go awful. Anyway, they're just little silver, silver bits. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Let's put that back up. But anyway, that's it. That is the room complete. Done. I'd say I'm going to come up with something to come along the top here. Uh, whatever ends up going along the top will probably be music related. It'll probably be records in record frames. I'm thinking at the minute. Um, so you'll see that in a vinyl update. But anyway, that is the transformation, guys. And uh, my computer or laptop even right here ready to edit this video together now so it's going to go up for you guys i hope you've enjoyed this it's been so much fun to take you guys along on the journey i really hope you've enjoyed the transformation of my room it's not massive transformation but it's something it's very nice so thank you guys for watching as always please hit that subscribe button like the video leave a message and i will see you guys next time for another video